radio knobs were cast using epoxy resin. The one on the right was cast without using a pressure pot. The one on the left was cast using a pressure pot. You can see quite a bit of difference in the clarity and the number of bubbles. This is a pressure vessel I made to keep the bubbles out of my epoxy castings. It's been holding 18 pounds per square inch for the last 20 hours or so, and I'll be releasing it this afternoon so that my casting inside won't have any bubbles. It's made out of a couple of PVC caps. One is here on the bottom, the other on the top. They're placed open face to open face and just jammed together and secured by this rubber PVC coupling. The coupling is about $8 at Lowe's and it comes with two of these clamps and I had to buy three other clamps to keep the uh, rubber from bulging out and losing pressure. Uh, the air valve also is from Lowe's, it's three or four dollars and then the pressure gauge was around $13 and you can get those at Ace Hardware for only $10. I just drilled holes in the top cap and secured it by JB Weld. You don't need any more than around 16 pounds per square inch and I don't recommend going any higher because this is already pushing out the bottom of the plastic to where it'll spin. That plastic's supposed to be flat on the bottom and it will be once I release the air. When you release the air, it has to be done very carefully because it's like popping a huge champagne cork. It wants to shoot the cap across the room, so you have to let it out very gently.